Hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar. My name is Jeff Erkovich, and I'm the Director of Product Marketing here at Altia. With me is Johnny Slump. Johnny is our very talented product marketing engineer. Before we start, I'd like to ask that you please type your questions into the chat during the presentation. We'll leave time at the end for these questions, and, and we'll circle back on them. Our agenda today, we'll start with an overview of Altia, who we are and what we do. Then we'll introduce you to some great new features in our latest version, 13.3 of Altia Design. After that, Johnny will take over and provide a live demo of our composite timelines feature, and we'll wrap up with a Q&A session. Okay, so let's get started. We're very proud to work with so many great customers and partners. Here are just a few examples of the brands using our products and services today. Altia is in over 100 million devices worldwide. The reliability and flexibility of Altia Design and Altia Deep Screen allows companies in all industries, from automotive to white goods, healthcare, IoT, and more to create market-leading GUIs for their customers. A quick refresher on how our concept to code GUI software works. You, the customer, bring your graphics from Sketch, Photoshop, Maya, or any other graphics tool into Altia Design. In AD, you create your own GUI around those images. Then send your design to DeepScreen, where C code is automatically generated. The hard work is done by deep screen. Little or no manual coding is necessary. When you're satisfied with your new GUI, you can write your design to any hardware from a low power MCU to the latest SOC quickly and easily. And I'll tell you, it's not just about software. We also provide services from conceptualization right through to productization and certification. We can help with any or all parts of the solution anywhere in the journey. With that, I'd like to turn things over to Johnny for what's new in our latest version of Altia Design. Johnny? Okay, let's give Johnny just a second to take over. Johnny, we can't hear you. Thanks, double muted. Jeff, um, thanks for the introduction. Programmable scene nodes, um, they're a very powerful developer level feature that allows Altia users to add 3D content at runtime. Uh, this concept is targeted towards real-time ADAS content, uh, such as traffic and mapping, where the geometry of the scene is unknown at design time. Real-time mapping data often comes from an external source where it would be divided into graphical units and streamed into Altia's optimized 3D engine on a just-in-time basis, all while being controlled from a high-level mapping application. Differential 3D import is a huge workflow improvement that allows the 3D mesh geometry of a scene to be updated in place at design time. So why is that a big deal? Well, it's very common to bring in an early version of a 3D model from a tool like Maya, then add complex animations, change the 3D textures, and add custom shaders to get the look and feel just right. Once that 3D model is finalized, the geometry needs to be updated as part of the design cycle. Now models can be updated quickly and easily while preserving all of those customizations and the previous design work. It's a really great addition to the Altia 3D workflow and further tightens our integration with the 3D creation tools that our users are actually already familiar with. Another 3D feature is what we call 3D blend animation. It provides designers with the ability to seamlessly transition from one complex 3D animation path to another with a minimal amount of work. In short, it enables a smooth transition from any point within the first animation path 
to any point on the second animation path. Altia automatically creates a new blended animation that is fully dynamic at runtime, meaning it can be triggered by asynchronous external events. With this feature, the 3D content becomes even more responsive and brings the interface to life. Now, if we step outside of 3D, responsive layout is another cutting edge feature and one that we are super excited about. It opens a new era of interface flexibility by allowing UX specialists to create a single design that can be reused across multiple display sizes or even automatically reformat the layout based on dynamic content. Rule-based layout is a common paradigm in the world of web and mobile development, and Altia's optimized solution brings this technology to the world of deep embedded user interfaces. Now that we've reviewed some of the other new features, let's turn the spotlight to, to today's main topic, composite timeline animations, a new feature of Altia Design 13.3. The composite timeline animation feature provides our users full control over creating complex and multi-layered animation sequences. It provides the ability to quickly and easily stitch together multiple animations with precise timing using an already familiar visual interface. In short, you can control multiple 2D and 3D animations from a single timeline animation. Previously, this was done by a software engineer via the Altia API and by referencing you know, rather dense UX design documentation. The design cycle was then followed by a comprehensive testing cycle, which was required to ensure that the animation sequence was implemented precisely. Now with composite timelines, these animations can be created through a visual paradigm with high fidelity and an exacting level of design control. It streamlines the iterative design process and significantly reduces the implementation complexity. Now let's take a look at composite timelines inside of Altia Design and demonstrate the features directly. Here's a car model inside of Altia with several predefined animations. I have added graphical controls to visualize some of the animations directly before we combine them into a unified composite animation. We have the manual rotation of the vehicle, the door open and close, an exploded view, and a wheel glow, which might be used as a tire pressure warning. Since this is a dynamic 3D model, you can of course control all of these animations simultaneously. The car might start rotating, and then the doors might open, and then we might trigger the exploded view, and so on and so forth. Prior to composite timelines, the designer would define all of these uh, animation sequences and states, the exact timing of the transitions, and maybe even the easing algorithms to be used before passing it off to the engineering team to be translated into code. Now let's do all of those steps visually in Altia using composite timelines. We first select the object that will hold the parent animation. In this case, that's the 3D car object. And then we click Add New Animation. You'll first need to enter a name. Composite Webinar. And then select the type of animation, in this case, Composite Animation. Notice the icon next to the animation types. These will help you when you need to navigate the model later on. Finally, notice that the parent object is listed inside of this menu so that you can double check that it's correct. Once you click OK, it will create that baseline animation. Now we can add several of those animations in and adjust the timing and other parameters to get the desired effect. So let's first add the manual rotate. type it in, hit enter. It automatically imports it to the timeline. Uh, it's 360 frames long, the duration. 
but let's take and adjust that. We're going to take and shorten that down to about 200 frames. All right, so now the rotation takes place in that short amount of time. And we can add an additional channel. And for this one, we'll add the door open. All right. And I'm going to shorten this one as well. Let's go here. Notice I can just drag the keyframes wherever I need them and change the timing. And in addition, I'm going to add a keyframe to close the doors at this point. So we'll double click here, close it, and it automatically adds a keyframe at that new position. So we have a full open and close animation. All right. We'll add in the exploded view. And in this pop-up, you'll see many animations listed because the animation is present in multiple areas of the system. We'll choose the first one and import, import that as a new channel on the timeline. And we will also add, uh, I'm gonna shorten this guy up as such and add a keyframe to, I guess, unexplode the vehicle. There we go. All right, nice and smooth. And last, we'll add one more animation, um, the wheel glow. And we can also add that from the drop down menu instead of typing it in. So I'll choose wheel glow and hit add. And I'm gonna move that towards the end of the animation sequence here. All right, now we have a full composite animation controlled by one timeline. Just like that. And let's say we didn't like this sequence. Um, we can actually move all the pieces around. So we'll move the door open a little more center. So you can um, either click the keyframes itself or you can rubber band and select the entire animation. I'm going to drag it out to the middle here and we'll move the wheel glow back to the center of the beginning here. And we have a new animation sequence. There's the wheel glow and the door close. All very smooth and controllable by one single animation piece. Right now, the exploded view animation uses standard linear interpolation. We can change that just like on any other Altia animation. You can do that by rubber band selecting the keyframes desired or right clicking and changing interpolation and going to ease in out. And you'll notice that the keyframe changed to indicate that there's a different kind of easing out over them which slows it down and makes it much smoother as the car kind of explodes and then re reconvenes at its normal location there. In addition to normal motion animations, you can also add other types of animations to a composite. This includes changing text strings within a text IO, updating the images using a nine slice object, or updating a deck animation with a new card. Over in the animation pane, you can also select the composite animation and you can see the current values and where it's at. And then we can scroll through it here and you can see that everything is controlled by that one animation just by scrolling through the values here on the animation pane. Notice that there is a priority order built into the composite animation names. Each of the channels has a number in front of it. Manual rotate is one, door open is two, et cetera. And this is included because some animations act upon the same object. So the priority order ensures a predictable behavior. You can move the priority order up or down by right clicking on the animation name and choosing move up or move down very simple way and ensures you get the exact behavior that you're looking for. You can also reassign or replace an animation. You can do that by simple double clicking the animation name and choosing another option. This is especially useful 
uh, during the prototyping stage. In addition, it's fully, in, it's fully integrated into the editor. Um, you can choose search and we should be called it composite webinar. And if I search within composite and double click that name, if you have a very large model, it'll take you right to the animation that you created and you can edit it directly at that point. Altia has created composite animations with a creative user interface designer in mind. Uh, it allows you to quickly take both 2D and 3D animations and combine them into a sequence that can be controlled easily by one parent animation. You get to control every aspect of the look and feel while providing a single interface point for your coding team. We are really excited about this new feature and look forward to seeing your creative concepts come to life. Now that we've wrapped up the demo in Altia Design, um, were there any questions out there, Jeff? Hey, Johnny, great presentation. Yes, we have several questions, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive right in and, uh, and present them to you. So here we go. Do I need to be on the latest version of Altia Design to get this feature? Yes, so composite timelines were added in Altia Design 13.3. So any version starting with 13.3 or later will support this feature. Great, thanks. Next question, can I use 2D and 3D animations for composite timelines? Uh, yeah, both uh, 2D and 3D animations are supported based upon uh, the target. So that means if the target does not support 3D objects, then obviously 3D animations won't be possible. Great, okay. Is there an impact or cost to memory slash performance using composite timelines? Okay, there is an extremely limited processing and memory overhead associated with uh, the composite timeline feature as the data being stored is very, very small. Uh, in fact, the user has exact control over which channels are being animated. So this provides the user with that fidelity and minimizes the already small impact. Great, okay. Is this feature limited to certain targets uh, and does it work with many GL? Okay, it is supported on all Altia GL targets um, they are, that are compatible with Altia Design 13.3 and later. Uh, composite timelines are part of the Altia core graphics engine. Um, the only limitation for LTA GL would be that targets must support 3D objects to enable 3D animations. Um, currently, composite timelines are not supported in MiniGL, which is currently at version 13.2. Um, with those minor exceptions, composite timelines uh, will work across almost all hardware boundaries from the low end to the very, very high end. Great, okay. Next question, does the editor tell you if the hardware is compatible with this feature? Yes, it does. Uh, the composite timeline feature is currently disabled in the mini GL editor, uh, but is it enabled for all the other 13.3 Altia GL editors? Um, if the feature is available in the editor, then it will also work on that hardware. Great, okay. All right, if I have created a composite timeline, can I nest it in another composite timeline? And what about animating text? Okay, uh, absolutely. In fact, almost all types of animations currently available inside of the editor are supported by composite timelines. Uh, these include standard keyframe or flipbook type animations, 3D materials animations, uh, of course, blend animations, which we mentioned earlier, uh, you can animate a deck and which card you're showing in a deck, um, and not just uh, those types of numeric animations, but also string animations. So that means you could actually animate the text inside of a text I.O. or a multi-line text object, um, or you could even animate the PNG that's being used inside of an image or a nine slice object. Um, as mentioned earlier, composite timelines can be nested. Um, you can even you know, duplicate the same animation with different parameters inside of a composite because they are processed in priority order. 
Um, that means you could have an animation that indexes into an MLTO for a certain line and then have a subsequent animation that changes the text on that line inside of the MLTO. It's really pretty comprehensive and is fully integrated into all the other features of Altia. Great, okay. Last question. What's the difference between blend animations and composite timelines? Okay, yeah, they, they are unique names. Um, composite animations or composite timelines work on almost any animation type, as I just said. The intent is to synchronize a lot of smaller animations into one cohesive unit and at the same time simplify the work for your software team. On the flip side, the 3D blend feature only works with 3D animations. It's a way to start one animation and then at some point between two keyframes, morph and end on a completely different animation timeline. It allows an animation to occur between those two timelines. Um, if I were to make like an analogy, composite timelines allow you to connect together and reorganize various like Lego blocks of animation on a common timeline, whereas 3D blend animations take one Lego block animation and transform it into another Lego black animation in real time. Got it, okay. All right, thank you, Johnny, for, for that great presentation. Um, just to wrap up, composite animations are supported on all deep screen targets, starting with Altia Design 13.3. If you'd like to know more, please reach out to us. We can answer any questions on the functionality or its capabilities. Or if you would like to leverage our experienced designers to help you bring your, your ideas to your customers. Thank you and have a great day.